After all that traveling, I'm sure they were just glad to stop. Traveling wears me out. <laughs> yeah, me, Definitely. Me too. <laughs> That's me right. Too. But I'm sure that all the dusty roads and bad weather and the disappointments that had to have happened yeah. along the way mm -hmm. were well worth it when they saw Jesus. He must have been a very special little boy. Oh, there's, there's no question about that. So listen, I've got an idea. Let's sit back and continue to watch and listen to our story. And Sam, I think you'll come to understand just how special Jesus really was. And well, if you've got questions along the way, well, Jill and I, we'd be happy to answer them for you. Shall we keep going? Yes, let's keep going. <laughs> okay. Well, we don't know a lot about Jesus' early life. We know that he had brothers and sisters. Um, he learned the carpentry trade from his earthly father, Joseph. And to help provide for his family, he worked in the carpentry shop. And when Jesus was about 30, his cousin, John the Baptist, proclaimed Jesus to be the promised Messiah, the Lamb of God. And he baptized him in the River Jordan. And then, soon after, came the dramatic announcement from God himself. This is my son, whom I love, and with him I am well pleased. Following this dramatic event, Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert. And after fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, Satan wasted no time in confronting no, no him. Time. You see... <clears throat> The deceiver, he approached the Son of God when he was most vulnerable. And in the same way, that's Just when like us. Satan approaches us. Uh, but it, the Bible tells us that Satan tempted Jesus with worldly things, like uh, putting material things before God and mocking God and his protective power. He even tempted Jesus to betray his allegiance to the one true God for uh, political, political gains, yeah, political right? Gains. But Jesus, he was not taken in by any of this. And he ended the conversation saying, the Lord God alone shall be worshiped and obeyed. And after which, Satan vanished. Let's talk a little bit about the men who walked with Jesus because Jesus chose them. He chose 12 men to follow him. And they were ordinary men from all walks of life. Yes, they were. Um, they each received a call that was very personal. And whatever they were doing before, they left it behind to follow him. Uh, they'd never met anyone like Jesus or heard the things that he taught. It, Jesus was a great teacher and they were drawn to him. And for three years, these disciples, they would follow Jesus and see many miraculous things and well, hear the, the wonderful teachings from the lips of the master. And these men, they would follow Jesus and his ministry of healing and teaching. Sometimes I know people wonder how we could leave all we know, throw down our heads in a moment, turn from our jobs and our homes. This call to us from the seashore, as deep as the call of the sea, drew us into his adventure. And gave us the courage to lead. 